Okay guys, I have had a request to see my makeup storage. Now, as I've said in a previous video, I do not hoard makeup I don't use. I move it along, sell it, give it away. I've got a teenage daughter now, so she's getting um, a bit of it. So, this is the lovely little area that I came up with and my husband put together for me. Now I've got a full blog post on where I got everything and how we did this and the before and after. I really, really love this little area and my husband is happy with the fact that it's not an unobtrusive table sitting in the middle of the room. So up the top here I have some lovely pictures that I like, my lip products are up here, I keep a few lip products in here because I find in the morning, I'm not a morning person and when I'm in a hurry I just like to pull this down, grab my lippy for the day instead of having to worry about going through everything. So that's my lip products, some spare lip makeup brushes, lovely little gift here that a friend gave me. This is a wee <laughs> money box that I put my odd coins in. This is a lovely little wee cup and saucer set that I bought in Hamner. And what I tend to do is if I wear lashes, when I'm finished with them, I pop them in this cup ready for when I can clean them. Then I've got this beautiful mirror, which I got really reasonably priced at the warehouse. And as we're starting to get a wee bit darker in the mornings, this is not ideal, this spot. I am going to be on the lookout for finding some lights to go across here to give me some more light for applying my makeup. In the meantime, I have this little mirror here, which is great for magnification for doing eyebrows and um, being able to adjust it to the light and applying makeup using natural light. I have some makeup brushes my makeup powder and my foundations all at hand on my top tray. Um, these are just odd brushes. And along here I have my eye palettes or my larger palettes just stuck in here so that I can grab them really easily. My favourite primer tucked in there, a heated eyelash curler. Over here I have a selection of eye palettes that I use. Okay, now coming down from that into the wee shelf I have... Oh yeah. We have my eyelash curlers. Now these wee containers here that I've got, I just purchased from the storage box and they're just kitchen containers. They're ideal with a perfect um, width. This little tray here has got my highlighters um, in it, so highlighters, compacts, this one here has some smaller eyeshadow palettes, so we have the Tarte Lit in Bloom palette, we have the original Tarte Lit palette, a contour palette and some blushes. In here I have a selection of my, um, I love Dior shadows, so I've got Dior shadows, um, Viseart Theory palette in here, I've just got more little palettes and smaller eyeshadows, Bare Minerals, try and open it with, so, section of blushes, and more blushes, they're MAC, these are Milani, Benefit, and a cream blush by Tom Ford, my only cream blush I have, but it's fantastic for the summer. And then here 
I have some of my other palettes that I use a lot. So everything's at hand when I sit in my seat in the morning. Another thing I got from Trade Me, my little seat that cost me 30 bucks, I'm very happy with. Then I got this little tray from the storage box as well. And here I have my Tartus Pro um, pack that stores that stores all my eyelashes. Not that I wear them a lot, but um, when I'm going out, I um, wear them, and I just love the way that that stores them easily for me and I buy them bulk when I do buy them I get them off trade me and get them rather cheaply in the top of this tray I just have little bits and bobs um, sunscreen bits and pieces lip balms eye concealers etc my cream products I have I'm doing a blog post very soon on this brow pom pomade I love it I actually love it heaps better than the Anastasia uh, and it's super super cheap and you can buy it at Farmers and then these are just eyeshadow bases at the back they are MAC paint pots and the Maybelline color tattoos affordable and an and, and, um, affordable alternative to the MAC paint pots and I have the Dolce Gabbana one that's on recommendation of one of the YouTube ladies I like watching okay now down below I have my BB creams, CC creams, I wear them on a daily basis to get my extra SPF. I have my primers, this one I'm going to end up having to cut it soon to squeeze the last dregs out, that's amazing. Lip liners, mascaras, that is all in there. And then down below I have just bits and bobs like lipsticks I don't wear but mainly um, just some powders that I use for touching up during the day. So that was a really brief video guys on where I store my makeup. And as I said, I do not have a huge collection. Yes, it is probably bigger than what a lot of people do have, but it is by no means um, in, in my book an overzealous um, collection of stuff that I will never use. The stuff I keep is definitely stuff I use on the daily or very regularly anyway. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. Give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. Would really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video.